Have you ever thought of taking part in a reality show? Not many have what it takes to overcome insidious traps. To fight their way through endless masses of genetically engineered monsters. To please an ungrateful and bloodthirsty audience. To follow the path of the heroes who have survived and beaten this vicious reality show in the past. The illusion of escaping the cycle of poverty is as mesmerizing and treacherous as the singing of a siren. But it might be your only chance. Abandon all hope before entering this terrifying reality show called Killing Room. Hey guys, it's Chris Fate with Cheat the Game coming back at you. Today I'm going to be taking a look at, and I've had more than one question about this, and it's something I've been having to play around with myself. So, And there's definitely more than one way to do uh, these type things. And what I'm talking about is how do we get Cheat Engine to go ahead and write our value to, let's like, say, our money or our ammunition or something like that without us actually having to use the gun? or spend the money before the value is created so to speak uh, normally you see that these uh, opcodes that you find your money uh, your ammunition things like that will only actually come into play or actually going to be executed when you actually use it when you fire the gun that's when it puts your 99 into the gun value or when you spend your money that's when it gives you the big buku amount of money when you actually use it because it's not being read until you do use it but how can we make it or where can we put it to make it go in there automatically well like I say there's lots of ways you can use this a, a common way a little more advanced way is to use a create thread which we are going to be learning on a later date but I want to show you another way. It's probably more of a noob way, and, and I'm a noob, so I, that this is methods I, I normally use that does work. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up uh, the killing room, and we're going to do ammo. Now, the killing room is way different. It doesn't even generate an AOB or array of bytes until you actually use the weapon. So not only will it not put the value in there, it won't even generate the AOB scan until you use the gun. So I'm going to show you uh, a way around that. Okay, so stick with me. I'll be right back with you. All right, everybody, we're back. Let's go ahead and uh, bring up the game here. Let's make sure I got Cheat Engine attached to it. Oh, I don't want to load my associated table. I've already got a whole string of codes, but I want to do this from scratch. So let's go ahead and uh, find our ammo. Wait a minute, why does that say infinity right there? Oh. I thought I only had a certain number at the beginning, so I guess I was wrong about that. But let's go ahead and look for salmon. This is just our normal way. I'm going to show you what it does firstly. And there it is right there. We're going to find out what writes to this address. And we see the EAX registry is moving the new value and replacing the old one at the offset of 138. And the base address is in RSI. And it's pointed to 138. So we see here's our base address right here. Let's go to that into memory view. Now to do this more effectively, I'm gonna have to go above it. I've already tested this out, and if I put that right here and do a, a auto assemble, it's not gonna find a unique array enough a byte for us. But if we go up one, uh, we can kind of modify it a little bit where it will. So let's go ahead and do that. It's a tricky game. I mean, it's really a tricky game. It doesn't have a module you can go by. Uh, you have to, you have to go in there and manually check your AOBs because you're going to run into some problems here and there. So just keep that in mind.
Let me go ahead and stop this. I don't need that anymore. Okay. And like we normally do, um, let's just put that out. That'll just freeze the value, but I want to move uh, let's see here, EAX, I'm going to move 99 into that, that's the hex value of 99, so it's going to move 99 decimal into EAX, EAX is going to move that 99 into our ammo, so let's see if that works. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And there we go. Now I want to show you what it does when we bring this back up again. So I'm going to close this down. Just go ahead and close it down. I'm going to bring it back up again. We're probably and we're definitely going to have to refine it again, probably. Have you ever thought of taking part? take a look. I may have to uh, recreate this a little bit. We'll see. We'll, we'll just have to see how it finds it. So let's get back to the game. Let's uh, I just want to make sure, let me go ahead and do a manual search. So we're going to do a new scan, array of bytes. Make that readable and writable. Do a first scan here. Oh, let me uh, reattach the game. I do that all the time too. Now let's do a first scan. All right, you notice, didn't find anything. It's because we haven't used our weapon yet. It has not made an array of bytes or set addresses to where it's actually writing to our gun yet. So let's use it. Now let's do it. Now we got two addresses. I'm not sure which one it is. So we definitely would need to make our array of bite more unique to where it's only finding one. But let me just see right quick. Because I don't want to get into that mess if I ain't got to. Let's just see if it... And then there you go. You see it turns to 99 so it was the first address. But we're not going to be using this. But you see how it could not find any array of bites whatsoever without... Us actually using the weapon, and that falls along the same lines of why it won't write to uh, your value or put your 99 in there until you actually use it because it's not being executed yet. And we can see that uh, the AOBs weren't even generated till we used the gun, so sometimes that happens. You run into that a lot sometimes. So let's see how we can get around this, okay? Let me go ahead and save what I got so far, and now we're going to do it a different way. You see, I started the recorder right back in the middle of me bringing the game back up. So we're starting a whole brand new game. So so we know that the script isn't going to work until we actually use the gun. But this time, uh, we're going to refine the gun. We're going to refine the address. And then we're going to do something a little different. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's attach that to Cheat Engine. Let's go ahead and dis, uh, disable the script. It'll take it a moment to load up. So. Okay, here we go. Also, a lot of times what you want to do is not stay in an area. You want to kind of move around a little bit just to get some codes activated. See, help does this too in this game. There's a lot of codes that does this. It doesn't even have an AOB until it actually needs it. 
like when I, I can't even activate health until I go lose some health. So you can do this for all kind of things too. So keep that in mind. But you got to be careful when you start to use a compare. So you really need to know your assembly and the best spots to use it at. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to refine the address. Let's put that back on 4 byte. And we're starting at 7. So everything's the same as before. I got it on hex. Well, we're just going to find it in hex. Screw it. Now 6. And here it is up here. Alright, instead of what's writing to this address this time, you know, when we right click on it, we click on what writes to this address. This time we're going to see if there's anything accessing this address. And we want to see anything that might be just constantly reading it over and over. That means it's being monitored. That area is being monitored, waiting on something to happen. It's about to do something or, or whatever it does, you know. And look at this. We got two locations, actually, but this is the one I'm interested in because it's actually showing our particular offset and base address registry, RSI. Look at this. And the RAX, and the one it's modifying, we can see the 5. We see the 5 down here. So this is what we look for. We're looking for that's constantly being read, and we want to go to this location, okay? So show that in the disassembler, disassembler here. And we see here it's just moving. A sign extended is what that means. But uh, it's just moving the value into RAX and you, it does all its mess before it gets to where we actually use it. And EAX writes that value into where it's going to store it in memory. All right. But what we want to do is let's see what happens if we put our new code in this area where it's constantly being read. We know it's the same values with the stack. We can see that. You see that's our base address. It's also our base address here. Our base address plus 138, which is pointing to pointer 138 right here. And that's the same thing that was in our script. Look. RSI plus 138. So we're going to use that. And we're not going to use this code anymore. We're going to use, we're going to put it up here. So let's go back to where it's just constantly reading all the time. And right above it, I'm just going to set a new AOB injection. I'm going to call this Ammo1A. And it'll go ahead and find us a unique array of bytes for us. I'm going to change that. I want to put that because these addresses change and I want to put the array of bytes themselves in there. So let's go ahead and assign that to the current cheat table. And I want to show you. Now I'm not using the gun again, okay? And you see it only reads that particular place where it writes to it only when we use it. But up here... In this area, it's reading it all the time. So let's put our executable up there and see what happens. And this is what we're going to modify right here. But move sign extended. And we're just going to put that information up here. I'm going to put it as pound 99 this time. Now let's, let me move this stuff out of the way before I click on it. I'm going to move this over here. I want you to take a look. I'm not firing off the weapon or anything, but I want you to take a look when I activate the code. All right? Now my hand's off the computer. Let it find the array of bytes, do the A or B scan, and take a look. Boom. You see that? You see how it just jumped to 99? I, we didn't have to fire off a round or anything. See, does it work with this gun too? And we got our infinite ammo. And we didn't have to use it to get it. So that that's a neat little trick that you can do.
Now, sometimes you're not going to find these places. Sometimes it's just nothing's monitoring it. That, that happens sometimes. So you may have to use like a break and trace. I teach how to do that in my stealth video on uh, how to use break and trace. You can use break and trace for so many different things. It's just mind boggling. But uh, I'll put that link up there in the upper right hand corner. But it worked this time because we actually had to find that address and we did fire off the rim. But will it find it without us using the gun, period? That's what we're going to test now, okay? Remember, we had to uh, use the gun before it would even find our array of bytes. Let's see if it'll do it this time. Let's load everything back up. And like I say, I, I may have to kind of go in there and find a more unique array because these things are changing a lot. So hopefully it won't do it, but. Like I said, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, so hopefully it'll work with me. But if not, I'll go and edit it and make it more unique. All right, so we press any key. And what we want to do this time, we want to go move around a little bit just to get everything accessed. But we're not using our gun, not using our gun at all. So it will not find the address up here. This one right here, if we click on it, it's not going to find it at all. And I'll show you, look. This is the first one we did, where we have to use the gun for it to even have an array of bytes to scan for. I'll just let it do it scan it, so it'll take it a minute. Okay, you see, didn't find anything again. It has not generated those addresses yet because we have not used the gun. But what about this one where it's constantly reading all the time we have not fired our gun we started off with seven bullets I'm not firing the gun let's see will it find it take a look you see that 99 and I actually had somebody uh, ask me about that at CTG Hunter, I hope this helped you a little bit to kind of give you a better idea on how to do that where you don't have to go get that gold that you were talking about. And I had another uh, person ask me on the YouTube itself if I would just kind of show something on the killing floor. I forgot what he was asking me, forgive me, but um, I think his question got answered earlier. So I, I hope this helped you guys out. And uh, that's just one technique that you can use to do that. There are many more techniques, and we'll get into that later. I would like to get into Create Thread, and we'll get that a little bit later. But, you know, I want you to learn this method also. It's a really cool method. It works. It's a great method to use. And uh, it's kind of save you from having to do a break and trace. If you can find out what is accessing the address, make sure that the stack is compatible with the right version of it and usually they are usually they are so that's uh that's all there is to this lesson i know it's a real quick one but it's another way you can have uh these infinite things not have to actually use the code uh to get it to work okay so if you have any questions uh please go to the ctg channel on facebook that's the better place to find it's really hard for me to get to i I get tons and tons of stuff on YouTube and it's just impossible to sift through it all. So it's better to reach us over at the CTG channel on Facebook if you have any questions whatsoever. There's a lot of great game hackers that hang out there way better than I am that can probably answer your questions a lot better too. So come over there with any questions you may have. We'd love to have you. We have a good time over there. We laugh a lot and we learn a lot over there. Uh, everybody over there is just truly awesome. So come join us over there. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now. I hope this helped you. Like I said, if you have any questions, come over there. 
Uh, other than that, you all have a great day. I'm going to be out of here, okay? You all take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please, enjoy yourself. You cheat the game, fellas, because Blue doesn't mind cheating you. You take care of them. Better die.